mortal fools. I'll feast on your flesh after my little pet rips it from your bones. to my father. Disappointing. Hardly worked up a sweat. Well done! With Moloch Grunda defeated, the entirety of the chasm is now under our control! Gathwin is rounding up the troops. I asked her to keep an eye on Darien as well. He's a terror with the sword, but sometimes I think he takes too many chances. Meet me outside. We have things to discuss, and I find these dangerous.
this will ensure the elf has tasked you with. Temptress, I'll hear no more of your lies. Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your comp I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. Some call me the Crimson Matron, others the concubine of Cold Harbor. I am an elder vampire brought to this new life by Murag Bal. These are my children. But they have been enthralled by the Lord of Brutality. My children protect this orchard because Morlock Ball commands it. They aren't evil. They're slaves of the Harvest Heart. Instead of destroying them, help me set them free. Imagine an army of vampires that owes you a favor. The ritual the elf plans to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Morlock Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Morlock Ball. Of course. Take all the time you need. It's not like you're trying to save the world from Morlock Ball or anything like that. Oh wait, that's exactly what you're trying to do. You can't seriously be considering her proposal. She's an elder vampire. Setting those monsters free will be like ringing the dinner bell in a Nord feast hall before the meal is ready. Her so-called children see us as food and nothing more. The only logical solution is to perform my ritual. Really? You need to consult the... Have you considered my proposal? I can perform my own ritual. It's a most wise and honorable decision. I'll follow you to the ritual sites. Protect me while I perform the ritual, and we will break Molag Bar's hold.
Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. of the ritual is complete. Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual.
you for assisting me. This portion of the ritual is complete. steps to you. At this point, we can't afford for anything to go wrong. The time has come to perform the ritual and destroy the harvest heart. My the black blood flowing from the harvest heart binds my children to Molag Bal. But it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the harvest heart, you must sever the connection to Molag Bal. Find the lot of schemes binding totems and destroy them. They are spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, my children will be separated from Molag Ball, and the energy protecting the Harvest Heart will falter. Harvest Heart is destroyed! The Harvest Heart has been destroyed. My children are no longer slaves to Molag Ball. Most certainly. Thanks to your efforts, my children are free. They won't give you any more trouble. And, as I promised, my children will aid you when you need it most. Another successful mission. But we're not finished yet. Thanks to you, the vampires are no longer controlled by Molag Bal. I hope we don't live to regret this outcome. person I was looking for. King Dinar is rallying our forces near the Riva Citadel. Yes, King Dinar and our forces are preparing to attack the Riva Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a Red Guard settlement to the west. It was the strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of Other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here. No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? It's Molag Bol's last sign of defense before we reach his inner sanctum. And it's certainly his most powerful. 
The Dremor estate in there have turned it into a heavily fortified city. Not quite, but soon. He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm gonna head in that direction as soon as we're done here. We don't have time for your games. Mortals are we have come always so far, so but we have leagues to I go before this business is concluded. Aid we must no push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. Ridiculous. A mayor as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. I do so love watching egotistical oh, brothers. There comes the champion. Just I may time, allow you always. to reconsider and accept my offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. Well, so far the vampires have... We have come so far. A Dremora army guards the walls of the Citadel. But there are those among us who recognize the city. Who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. Find a way inside and locate the fighter's guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Time is not on our side, but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the only way in or out of the hall was through the secret passageways. You need... The ward key is decorated with arcane runes that can unbind the defenses and deactivate the wards. It should be near the guild hall. Find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the fighters can emerge from the hall and surprise the Dremora. Even the strongest armor has chinks that can be taken advantage of. Look for a place to climb or a break to crawl through. The female Dremora offered to help us, but Galerion sent her away. If you run into her, see what she has to say. Then you should certainly seek her out. We could use whatever help is offered, no matter its source. Just be on your guard. A Dramora would never offer help without some sort of string attached. <laughs> <laughs> 